Hi, I'm Mrs. Benson. Welcome to our virtual open house. I want to tell you a little bit about myself and about your child's class with me, which is photography too. So I've had your child for at least two years, if not three or four, depending on um, how many other classes they or art classes they've taken here at Stone. So, sorry, my thing I have to go back to the beginning. So sorry for this. I thought I had it back in the beginning. So I grew up here in Waldorf. I graduated from Stone in 99. So I'm definitely a local person. I went to CSM and then Towson. I've been teaching here at Stone for 17 years. Sorry for the announcements. I'm doing this at school <laughs> on my lunch. Um, so this is my 17th year here at Stone. It's gone by really fast. Um, at home, I have a five-year-old boy who just started kindergarten and a two-year-old girl who keeps me on my toes along with my son. So there are county art shows that are throughout the year. So there's usually two to three shows at the Board of Ed building, which they will also showcase virtually as well as in person. Um, there's a Youth Art Month show, a, a Madawoman Creek Art Show, which is out in Smallwood State Park graduation show county fair that the county fair even though it just passed is usually from the work from before the school year before um sometimes things get sent out to other shows outside of the county as well i'm so sorry for this announcement i just got to keep recording though so art classes offered at stone uh your child's in photo too but there's also a plethora of these other they're not a senior and they want to take photo three with me next year they can or they can take ceramics Drawing and Design, AP, or Independent Study. Let me keep going through these until I get to photo two. Now things are a little bit different um, because normally I do require photo twos to have their own 35 millimeter film camera. However, I'm changing that rule this year because they didn't have the opportunity to even try that last year. They only had the the digital aspect of it and the compositional aspect of it. There are a couple of students that had me for photo one two years ago instead of last year that had that experience, but still it's been two years. So I'm not requiring a camera this year. They can use the classroom cameras. For any of the digital things we do, they're going to need to obviously use their phones, which are, will, will work just fine. Um, I am going to make them shoot film though because they would have learned that in photo one so they're just we're going to kind of catch up on the learning the first half of the year so I put here too they'll be doing two rolls of film a quarter since they're new I might make them do like one roll first and second quarter since they're not used to this and then bump it up to two rolls I sell film at four dollars a roll so don't be surprised if they come asking you for film um so we'll learn about darkroom stuff and then I'll get them into manipulating in the dark room and editing in the dark room as well as digitally. And photo three. So grading policy projects and studio assignments are worth 50 to 100 points each. So it's kind of the bulk of their grade. However, I do a lot of brainstorming reflections, which might be 10 to 25 points each. But because of the county waiting policy, it's 50 50. So process is 50. Um, product is 50, so they still need to do all those other little extra assignments too to make sure they don't hurt their grade. Um, so if you would like to email me, my email is jbenson at ccboe.com, um, or you can find me in the Synergy mail system too if that's easier for you. And the school's phone number is 301-645-2601. You can call me and leave me a message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can because they usually just put you right through to um, voicemail. They don't usually like to talk to the teacher in the middle of the day. So another thing I wanted to show you was the class website page. So you can find your students, teachers, class website pages by going to student view or parent view. And on the left-hand side, there's a pull, there's that menu. You just go to class websites and then there's a Right next to that, there'll be a pull down menu of which teachers you can pick whichever teacher you want. This is what mine looks like for the photo two classes. I am keeping my class website very simple because last year I found out that the students said it was much easier if you just put everything in one place in the grade book so they didn't have to go all over the place to find what they needed. Um, so 
I put that on here too. If your child is out for any kind of extended time period for whatever reason, please check the grade book for any assignments and their contents. Um, all handouts, videos, etc. associated with that assignment will be right there in the assignment context. Um, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. So if they have a question about assignment or you have a question about an assignment, um, don't be afraid to ask. But everything I'm giving them that we're getting in class is right there. It's just the lack of me teaching it, so it might be a little confusing. Just let me know if you need help. I also put the syllabus on here, so you feel free to read the syllabus more at length. And I put one of my little favorite sayings on here, especially with photography and life. So life is like a camera. You focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop from the negative. And if things don't work out, take another shot. I feel like that's motivational. Um, I look forward to working with your students this year, and we're going to have a great year. Thank you. Take care.